This is Eric Martin, lecturer of mechanical engineering at the University of Maine. In this video, we'll investigate smartphone scanning apps. Why would we use a scanning app? We want to use a scanning app when a traditional scanner isn't available, or even if it is available, sometimes it's cumbersome to use or to locate the files that have been scanned. Instructors and graders need documents that are legible, and scanning apps help in this area. Many instructors, including myself, require PDF documents, not JPEGs or images. A scanning app can be used when a document has been signed and needs to be uploaded and sent to a recipient. And finally, scanning apps are free and easy to use. When a person takes a picture of a document and sends it, the quality can vary drastically. The following images are images I created myself, but are representative of submissions that I have received. Here we have a picture of a page we can see the shadow, we can see that the page is turned around, and it's just difficult to read. The instructor would need to rotate, would need to crop, and it's just very unprofessional looking. Here's a better picture, but we can still see that it's difficult to read, and some cropping would be helpful. The last image I'll show will be the same document using Microsoft Office Lens. Here we can see that Microsoft Office Lens has automatically cropped the document, also scales, and even makes the handwriting bolder. There are several different apps that we can use for scanning documents with our smartphones. For Android, there's Drive and there's Office Lens. I'll demonstrate both of these. And there's also others that can be found on the Google Play Store. For the iPhone, Notes should be pre-installed, and this could be used to scan documents and then saved as PDF. There's also Microsoft Office Lens and other apps that can be found in Apple's App Store. You can take a look at the links in my description for more information on these apps. But now I'll demonstrate Drive and Microsoft Office Lens on Android phones. I do not have an iPhone, but the process should be similar. We'll look at Microsoft Office Lens. We can see that we have a document that I've printed out. And it's highlighted. Even if I take the picture at an angle, we will see that it is automatically adjusted. I can add another page by clicking the Add button at the bottom left. I'll take another page or another picture. And then that's all the pages I have. And so I will use my arrow at the right. It gives us a preview of what they will look like. I'll click done. It's going to ask me where I want to save this. Since we want a PDF, we'll click PDF. We have an option for phone storage or OneDrive. We'll use phone storage. We'll click save. And we can see that, we can see my practice one before, but we can see the new one that we just added. And I can click on that. And I can preview it. And then I can add it to my drive. We can give it a new name. And in a few minutes, we'll look into Google Drive and take a look at that document. Let's take a look at using Drive to take pictures. And Drive should be included on all Google phones or Android phones. And we can see the scan to PDF of the document I just added. So I will click on this plus button in the bottom right. We can see there's an icon called Scan. And it's very similar to what we just used. It doesn't give the border like it did in Microsoft. In fact, it looks a little blurry. I can tap the trash can to discard it or click the check mark to accept it. I'll tap the check mark and compare this scan with a new scan. The bottom left icon is to add a new page. I'll tap the circle at the bottom to make a new scan or a picture. Click the check mark. Just to note, I should have been paying more attention to the preview. Notice how a good portion of the top page is gone. And this was like that on the previous page as well. We'll add one new page. And then take another picture. Click the check mark. And then we'll click save. 
I'll rename it scanned using drive click save we can see it being added to our drive and then we'll take a look in our computer to see these two files here we are in our file manager you can see that I have renamed the first document using office lens and here's a document using drive I'll go ahead and open both of these on the left we have the document using drive on the right the one using office lens remember using drive I actually made two scans of the schedule and we can see that it has cropped both of them not really sure why we can also see it kind of gives a bluish tint on both of them one a little bit darker than the other and on the office lens there is a tint but it's nowhere as blue as the other ones as I zoom in we can see that office lens seems to be a little clearer on the first document using drive it's darker while on the other hand on the second one is lighter meanwhile the office document seems to be just about right it's debatable whether one's more blurry than the other or which one's more readable but this is this was pretty small text let's look at the handwritten documents and we can clearly see that the office document is bold dark easy to read while the document using drive just isn't acceptable very light very hard to read and I found that these results are consistent with what I've been finding all along between office lens and drive office lens gives a better document than drive does consistently now I haven't tried Apple iPhones notes so I can't comment as to whether that is a good product or not let's conclude by looking at some tips for quality documents first we want to use bright lighting and eliminate any shadows use a clutter-free background so that the software can clearly identify the edges once your documents are scanned and uploaded to your computer merge and rotate the PDFs as required to create a single professional looking document for help with this take a look at my next video in the series which discusses saving printing and merging PDFs thank you very much